Hey, what is up guys? It's Ogran1993 here and today's video is going to be a new Dino decklist since the new banlist dropped and Konami didn't hit Miscellanosaurus. So have you read Misc? Because I think that someone didn't. So let's get started. But before we start, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It is really, really important, guys, please, because 75% of you watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So please, guys, subscribe. It costs you nothing and it will help the whole community and I will know that you appreciate my work. Give a like on the video, follow me also on Instagram, Zokram1993, and follow my competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! team, the Omnia Players. You can find all the links in the description box below. So let's get started and I'm really, really glad that the banlist didn't hit Dinos. I uh, thought that this deck shouldn't deserve a hit because there are so many problems and so many more problematic cards. So. Uh, we need to start from Miscellanosaurus, okay? So you want to play 3, this card is amazing, playing through the hand traps, playing through the activated effects and the uh, gold version of this is absolutely amazing. I'm really, really glad that I bought 3 copies of this before the ban list. I was expecting Miscellanosaurus not to get hit, so I'm really glad about that. Then 3 copies of Oviraptor, of course, this is mandatory, you cannot play uh, without Oviraptor. You need to play three. This card is a searcher, it's a starter, it is everything. And then last but not least, the one copy of the Giant Rex. You still want to play this, in my opinion. It is really important also for the main combo of the deck that I will show you in another video. Then uh, for the babies, we got three copies of Baby Sarosaurus alongside with the one Petit Tranodon. These cards are necessary and you can combo off by popping them as much as you want. Also, thanks to the small True King engine that we got in here. Then we got two copies of the uh, Animador Arcosaurus. This card is super strong and it's the main reason why this deck is now viable again. And then the one Jurak Aiolo to run up for the uh, Dinos, which are level one. Aiolo is still important, it's an easy RK Fabrax, so you want to play that. Then for the big boys, we got two copies of UCT. This is a going first list, so you don't need more than two. This card is so strong, especially in combination with cards like uh, Mystic Mine, if you want to uh, play that, or even with the Dark Ruler No More. It is absolutely bonkers. Then the one Overtech Squatlus, because in my combo you can uh, end up on True King of All Calamities, which is protected by uh, the Overtechs from cards like Infinite Impermanence, Chalice and stuff like that. And then the one Dogoran, I think it's still worth playing. The Pankratops is in the side deck, since this is a going first build. This is slightly better also because it's fire and it's a, another target for the peel. It's a level eight, so if you go eight plus one, you could go into a nine and draw one card through the um, Arcatis. And being fire, it is a target also for the Agnimazud. Then for the True King engine, we just have uh, the one Little Zajim and the one uh, Agnimazud. You don't want to play more, I guess. You can also toy around with a couple of Agnimazuds. All. You can also play the only one Little Zajim if you want, but I'm playing also the Dragonic Diagram, so I want to have a couple of targets for that. Then we got the Burst Chechu of the Stormwinds. Finally, an upgrade for this card that uh, previously was only available as a common. This is a recovery play, in my opinion, at least in my build. I will explain this in my combo video that will come out maybe uh, next week. And then the one Desk Ball 001 to run up of the uh, monsters that you need. Of course, we'll see also the hand traps. 001 is so strong, being a machine, you can go into Aurora Dawn. Then for the hand trap lineups, I got the two copies of Ash Blossom Joy Spring. You can play also three if you want, but I prefer to have more variety of hand traps and I decided to play double Lancia. So Lancia overall is super strong of a card and you have to consider that apart from the decks that we already know that are uh, really, really susceptible to Lancia, after the ban list, I guess that we will see more dinos and Lancia is strong against dinos. We will see probably more rogue contenders playing Paleozoics. So this will block the Ronin Totem. We can see maybe some ABC players and this will block also the uh, machine abc strategy and of course this will block also all the other meta decks this is one of the best hand traps if you don't want to play lancia 
you can substitute that with uh, drone locks because dragon link is a thing and this can hit, hit dragon link as well but this one is slightly better or of course the nibiru's because nibiru it is always strong against combo decks and uh i guess i guess the lancia is pretty pretty fine though and then the last hand trap the best hand trap for this deck it is the gamma of course which is a tuner as well and alongside with the driver it is the best hand trap also because if you're going first after you activate a power spell you have the possibility to trigger your gamma maybe after an opponent's hash blossom which is really, really important for the spell cards we got three copies of fossil dig uh, this deck is still a champion in consistency since the fossil dig is still a tree so we have to play tree then we got the one transforming alongside with the one draconic diagram you can play lost world if you like it you can play also mystic mind maybe if you're going second but i think that at least for my combo and for my playstyle, this is more than enough. Two copies of Double Evil Peel, you can add it through the uh, Crocodile or also through the Overtex if you decide to play it. And then for the strong mono copies, we got the one Foolish Burial, which is basically another copy of Miscellanosaurus. The one One for One, which is basically another copy of the uh, Jewel Beast. And the one Called by the Grave. I know it's a, it's a one, but in this deck, as like a fourth one since we got three copies of Miscellanosaurus as well. Then let's move into the extra deck. Uh, let's showcase the tokens because finally, guys, for who has been following me for some time, I found, made, I bought, I decided to bought from the internet the uh, final token for the Mecha Phantom Beast Aurorodon since my combo involves the Aurorodon presence. And then, of course, we got some other field centers with a couple of Ghost Sister, the Lost War token, and another card from Vanguard game. So uh, the extra deck is composed by the one Formula Synchron alongside with the one Ravenous Crocodragon Archetis and the Trishula. So uh, these two are really important for my combo. Once again, I will show you my combo in the next video, maybe next week. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss that. In my combo, starting off with Miscellanosaurus plus Baby, I will end on True King of All Calamities plus Overtax by drawing four cards in the process. No Link Cross involved, which is pretty, pretty uh, absurd in my opinion. And then uh, for the Fusion Monsters, we got the second Trishula. This card is super strong and once again involved in the combo since it's a free level 9 that you can put on your field. Then for the rank 4s, we got the one Lagia, the one Dolka, and the one number 60 Dugares. You can also play the Abyss Dweller if you like it, but I really love this card. I'm in love with this. This card won me so many games. It's incredible. And then last but not least for the XYZ Monsters, the one true king of all calamities. And once again, Konami decided not to hate this card. This card is super strong. And don't forget that it is made for true kings and dinosaurs. So I know that other decks are playing this, but in here you can do it in a really, really easy way. Then for the Link Monsters, we got the one Reproducus that plays alongside with the uh, Link Tree, the Seamorg Link, of course. The one Arcade Fabrax, sorry for the proxy guys, but I sold mine. The one Psyframe Lord Lambda, because you are playing the Gamma package and Lambda could be really, really useful sometimes. Then the one IP Mascarina, which is still cool and allow you to go into the Nightmare Unicorn if you need that. Doing a unicorn in the opponent's turn is still strong. You can play also Phoenix if you want. Then the one Simorg. You need the Simorg because if they this if the opponent is playing through your Miscellanosaurus, the first thing they will hit with an impermanence or a Baylor is gonna be Arcade Fibrax. At that point, after your Arcade Fibrax is uh, without effect, you can simply turn that into a Reproducus. Be sure to have a monster underneath the Reproducus going to Simorg, pass the turn. And you will pass with Simorg, Barrier Statue, and of course your Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. And then last but not least, the Mecha Phantom Beast Aurorodon. This card is nonsense. Even if there is no Olion, doesn't matter. Remember that this card will allow you to special summon three tokens, and then you will trigger also the Death 001 from the graveyard. So it is like making Scapegoat first turn. Then for the side deck, real quick, we got the one Pankratops. This card is mandatory. One of, of course, because it's limited and in this deck is even better. Same reasoning for the Dark Ruin No More. This card is perfectly suited for the deck since we got the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, which is able to, uh, of course, destroy everything single handedly. 
after you blank the opponent's uh, board. And then once again against combos or at least going second stuff, three copies of the uh, Evenly Matched. You can also play Lightning Stores if you have it. It is pretty, pretty cool. Then some other cards that are pretty useful. Triple Forbidden Chalice. Also against Shadows, this card is even more good because you can uh, hit the cards that are flipped. So it's fine. Once again, if you got Impermanence, you can absolutely play that instead. The one uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. And then from here, we will start the back row hate. Three copies of Cosmic Cyclone. I think that Hell Lich is gonna be a thing once again. And then last but not least, the one red reboot. Also because I think that Palozoics and another uh, set five pass strategy will be uh, shining in this new meta game. So that's basically it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I cannot express how glad I am that Mr. Lonosaurus is still with us. Let's hope that um, no one will touch this. This deck is amazing. I really, really love dinos, as you know. So that's it for today. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Once again, 75% of you watching my videos are not subscribed. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel to support me. Give a like on the video if you like it. Share the video with your dino friends. And follow me, Okra1993, also on Instagram. And consider following also my competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! team, the Omnia Players, on Instagram and Facebook. You will find all the links in the description box below. And see you in the next one and next week for the combo that will allow you to go into true king of all calamities drawing four cards and being protected by the overtax and see you in the next one